Have you ever wondered if plants like humans communicate with each other? A whimsical query, yet the answer is a resounding yes. Though they stand silent and seemingly solitary in our gardens and forests, plants engage in incredibly complex interactions and communication. They don't have mouths, ears, or the ability to gesture, yet they are far from mute. They speak in a language that is ancient and sophisticated, a language of chemical signals and electrical impulses. It's an unseen conversation, a hidden dialogue that keeps the green world thriving. So, plants do talk just not in a language we humans can hear. Imagine receiving a text message through the air. That's how plants use chemical signals. Now, let's dive deeper into this intriguing botanical language. Picture a quiet, serene forest. Suddenly, a plant comes under attack. Like a damsel in distress, it releases an invisible distress signal in the form of chemicals. These airborne messages, unseen to the human eye, drift through the air, reaching neighboring plants, but what happens next is the truly fascinating part. Upon receiving these messages, the plants prepare for the incoming threat. They start producing toxins, their own form of botanical weaponry, to deter the incoming pests. This, my dear friends, is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but a daily occurrence in our backyards, parks and forests. In this world of green, where silence is the norm, a complex conversation is constantly happening. In their silent, unassuming way, plants are constantly whispering secrets to each other. But it goes even deeper. Electrical impulses aren't just for our brains. Plants have them too. This might sound a little outlandish, but it's true. Just like our bodies use electrical signals to communicate internally, plants do the same. These electrical impulses serve as a means for plants to interact with their environment. Take the sensitive plant, also known as Mimosa pudica, for example. When its leaves are touched, a signal is sent through the plant, causing its leaves to close up. This reaction is the plant's way of protecting itself from harm. It's quite a sight to behold a plant that reacts almost as if it has feelings. These electrical impulses may travel slower than the speed of our thoughts, but in the plant world they're quite effective. They allow plants to respond to their surroundings in a way that ensures their survival. Yes, plants do have a neural network, albeit a slower one. Yet plants take this even further. Under our feet lies a vast internet of the plant kingdom. This intricate network, known as the mycorrhizal network, is a fascinating system of underground connections formed by fungi and roots of plants. It's a bustling hub where plants trade nutrients, exchange information, and even send out distress signals. The fungi acting as middlemen extend their hair-like structures called hyphae into the soil, linking one plant root to another, forming a vast underground network. In return for sugars and carbohydrates produced by the plants, the fungi provide vital nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen that they've extracted from the soil. This symbiotic relationship is not just about give and take, it's about communication too. When one plant is attacked, it sends out a chemical SOS through these fungal connections, alerting its neighbors to ramp up their defenses. In the grand scheme of things, plants are social beings communicating and collaborating in ways we're only beginning to understand. So, do plants talk? Absolutely. They're fluent in a language of chemical signals and electrical impulses, sharing warnings, responding to environmental changes, and even swapping nutrients via an underground fungal network. Next time while walking through a garden or forest, remember there's a lively conversation happening all around you just beneath the surface. 